Hey everyone, this is Traditional Archery 101, where we're going to cover everything you need to know to get started in traditional archery. To start off, let's talk about some of the different types of traditional bows that are out there. One of the most recognizable right off the bat is going to be the long bow. How it gets its name not by its length, but by the type of limb that you see on the bow. The main difference between a recurve and a long bow is that the recurve bow has those curved tips and the limb touches the string right at the top there and the long bow, the string does not touch the limbs. And if I were to unstring this particular long bow, you would see that it has some curve on the limb, which is a design called a reflex deflex long bow. And what, it, what the designer is doing there is they're taking some of the aspects of a recurve bow and applying it to a long bow, but without making it a recurve. So you're getting more speed, you're getting a smoother draw, but still maintaining that very classic longbow shape. What we have here is a bare bow. Now a bare bow setup like this one is great for competition. You can see it uses recurve limbs, it has a much longer riser than the uh, more traditional recurve bow and this riser is made of metal it has a few other accessories on there that you won't see on a more traditional bow uh, but if you want to compete uh, a bare bow is a great option now finally here we have a self bow now self bow is a long bow uh, they can also be recurves but usually they're long bows and what this is, is it was a tree at one point, the tree was cut down, split into staves, and then a bow was carved out of it. So it's kind of the, a similar thing that our ancestors used for thousands of years. Um, they are beautiful, they shoot great, they're made well, and they're just a blast to shoot. So there you have the self bow. It has no man-made materials in it, 100% wood, unlike you know, the longbow I showed you earlier that has both wood and carbon fiber in the limbs. The recurve I showed you is wood and fiberglass. This is all wood, 100% natural. Now that you know the differences, you might be wondering which one of these is the best, which one should you get as a new archer? And really, that depends a lot on you. Um, which one do you like the most? Which one is aesthetically pleasing? Which one gets you the most excited to go out and shoot? That's the one you want to go with. Some of the pros and cons are, you know, recurve is gonna be faster, smoother drawing. Uh, there's more options in recurves just because they're more popular. A bear bow is, if you're interested in competition, while you can, you can compete with all these bows, there are different competitions for all these bows, but a bear bow gives you the most options for competitions for indoor field, 3D, outdoor target. You can do it all with a bear bow, and it's a, it's a great competitive setup. And if you're a do-it-yourselfer type person, if you wanna make a bow, you can go with a self bow. There's a ton of resources on YouTube on how to make a self bow. Now, other than a bow, you're obviously going to need some other stuff. Uh, most importantly, you're going to need arrows. Arrows you can choose from uh, wood arrows like this one right here. You can do carbon fiber arrows and uh, as well as aluminum. They all have their pros and cons. Carbon fiber is the go-to. Uh, it's they're, you can get them super cheap, you can get them really expensive and you know very high-end carbon fiber arrows, but they're durable, uh, they're easy to find, easy to source, um, and they're great for a new archer. Wood arrows are nostalgic, they're beautiful, uh, but they are fragile, and they're a little finicky, but there's really nothing that goes with a longbow or self bow quite like a wood arrow. Uh, so something to consider. Now no matter what type of arrow material you go with, 
you're going to want to make sure that that arrow is matched properly to your bow. And that's when working with an archery shop really comes in handy because they have the experience to know the size of the arrow that you're going to need for your, your bow's um, draw weight, your personal draw length, and the type of archery you're interested in doing. Now on the arrow, both of these you'll see have feathers. That is the most common type of fletching. Fletching is what's back here. It's what helps correct the arrow in flight. Um, you can shoot veins. These are an AAE traditional vein made for shooting with a traditional bow. It's a very lightweight, flexible vein. It's a great option if you want to shoot in wet weather um, or if you want something that's maybe a little bit more durable than a feather. Now to hold your arrows, uh, what I'm using right here is a hip quiver. It just goes right onto your waist and it holds your arrows when you're practicing. If you're interested in bow hunting or if you just want the convenience of having arrows right at your side, this is called a bow quiver. It straps to the bow, has these little straps here, just connects right onto your limbs. It's another good option for holding your arrows. You're also going to need an arm guard, a finger tab, or a glove. Both of these are uh, for protection. So the arm guard goes onto your forearm and that's going to protect from the string slapping your forearm when you shoot. One more absolutely necessary accessory is a bow stringer. This is what you'll use to take the string on and off of your bow. Now in terms of learning to shoot a traditional bow, um, there are some great instructional videos on YouTube, but the best way to learn is through in-person coaching. Uh, your local archery shop most likely is going to provide archery lessons. If you go to archery360.com, you can find a listing of coaches, uh, take a few lessons and learn the basics of archery form. I promise it will pay off big time down the road. Well, there you have it folks, those are the basics you need to know to get started in traditional archery. To learn more, contact your local archery shop and they're going to do everything they can to make sure you get the right bow for you, it fits you, all the gear you need, and I hope you guys have fun and enjoy traditional archery as much as I do.